Join me as I dive into the world of Unreal Engine 5 and to create the most practical door mechanics you've ever seen. Doors are classic mechanics for games. They are a must-have. Let's dive in. Let's make the simplest of the door types used in games. We will prepare a simple door mechanic with the interaction system we made in previous videos. Let's drag our door to the stage. This door will also have a frame, but I can pass through this door, so we need to adjust its collision. Double click on the door mesh and open it. Let's choose Simple Collision. Click Add Box. Simplified Collision from the Collision menu. This gave us a box collision, but it seems a little thick. Let's fix it. Let's go to Top View. Select Literature. Collision includes the door handles. We don't want that. Let's go to the Collision menu in the right panel. Open Primitives. Under Boxes, set X, Extend to 5. Now, the collision box is exactly what we want. Let's try it. Yes, now we can't go through it. Let's create a child blueprint class from our interaction object. Give it a name. Open it. Let's replace the mesh object with a door frame. Let's add another static mesh. It should be inside the top mesh. The second static mesh we added will be the door itself. Let's adjust its position. 45 on the Y axis. Compile and save. Let's move to the event graph. Right click on the interact interface and click on implement event. Add a timeline node. You can change its name to avoid confusion. Let's call it open door. Let's open it. Length determines how many seconds the operation will take. I think 0.5 would be appropriate. Add float track and name it alpha as usual. Add two keys on timeline. We can think of it as 0 to 1 in 0.5 seconds. We set the first key as time 0, value 0, and the second key as time 0.5, value 1. You can zoom to fit by these little buttons. This is a straight line, and it will be a straight movement. We don't want that. Select both keys, right click, and select auto. Now it will be a smoother movement. In summary, we will move the door mesh with this timeline. Get door static mesh. From update set relative rotation of door mesh. Create make rotator node from new rotation. Let's create lerp from Z axis. The alpha value will be the alpha value here. That is the alpha value we created in the timeline. While the A value is zero, the B value will be minus 90. Compile and save. Let's try it. Yeah, the door's opening. Oh, great. But when I clicked again, nothing happened. Let's create a variable. Boolean. Is door closed? We need to make it true by default because the door is closed at first. Let's add a branch node. So, if the door is closed, we will open it. If it is open, we will close it. Let's connect true to play and false to reverse. This operation will reverse the movement, which is obvious from its name. But we need to set is door closed after true because the door opens on the first click. So we need to specify that it is closed. After false, we leave the is door closed variable false. Compile and save. It opens when we click and closes when we click again. Just as we want. But there is a problem. The door always opens in the same direction. If we want it to open to the same place when we come from the other side, how can we do that? Let's have a look. Let's make a door that always opens towards us. Let's duplicate the previous door. We need to make a calculation here. We need to get our character's location here. We need our character reference. Let's go into BP Interaction. Select the Get Player Character node. Event Begin Play, cast a first person character. Set a variable value as player ref. Let's go back to our door. If the variables are not visible here, we will do the following. Show inherited variables. Let's take player ref and get the actor location. We're going to output the location of the character 
at the location of the door. Let's take the door's self. Let's also take the actor location and choose the vector minus vector. Attach this to the bottom. Now normalize the vector. And take the dot product. Take the actor forward from the door itself and plug it here. Now promote this variable and call this dot product. Let's set it here and let's connect it to play from start and connect the other one to reverse from end. Now we come to the main point. Let's call a select node. If dot product is greater than or equal to zero, connect it here. Now you will understand better what we are trying to do. Let's bind a print string to the event tick node and give dot product as the value. Now look at the top left. When we're in front of the door, the value is positive. When you're on the other side of it, it's negative. If true, it's 90 degrees. If false, it should be minus 90 degrees. Let's test it. In the next video, we will take a look at the physics doors. We're going to open and close doors using physics. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.